This guide will demonstrate how to change the radio transmission power of your DDWRT or tomato equipped Wi-Fi router. There are several reasons you may want to alter the transmit power. If you are trying to manage multiple routers in a congested area, decreasing the power will also decrease the overall noise and interference. On the flip side, if you are suffering from a weak signal, increasing your transmission power can help boost it. A good Wi-Fi link requires the signal to be both transmitted and received, so keep this in mind because boosting transmission strength alone doesn't impact the ability of your router to receive. Combining increased transmission strength with a higher gain antenna can be a great way to improve your overall Wi-Fi experience. For example, a basic Linksys E1000 router has two internal antennas with a gain of 1.5 decibels, while a higher-end Linksys E4200 contains a whopping six antennas with a gain ranging from 3.6 up to 5.2 decibels. Upping the transmission power on an E4200 is going to give you better bang for your buck than the E1000. A quick disclaimer, increasing transmission power can sometimes generate more heat and thus shorten the lifespan of your equipment. Additionally, in many countries the maximum allowed transmission power is regulated by law, so check your local regulations before changing it. In DDWRT, start by logging into the main admin page. Select the wireless tab and then select the advanced settings subtab. Find the field labeled XMIT power and enter a value between 0 and the maximum allowed. Then save your settings and you're done. In Tomato, start by logging into your main admin page. Select the advanced setting page and then go to the wireless subpage. Find the transmit power field and enter a value between 0 and 400. Setting 0 will use your router's default. Note that the actual maximum will be limited based on what country or region you select above. Then save your settings and you're done. Flash routers. Better routers, better internet.